Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to learn how to create Valentine's Day special animated Instagram story template in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want that completely designed .psd files means hit the like button. Soon after reaching 50 likes, I'll give you the download link. Else join channel membership program. You can download the fully designed PSD files instantly. Fine, let's get started. First create your own canvas else go to the project file, there will see a PSD file, double click and open the file, this one is a designated file, size is 1080 by 1920, you can use it for Instagram story, WhatsApp status, Twitter fleet. Next we are going to create a solid color background, create a solid color adjustment layer, I am going with white color, fine. Next step we are going to drop in our image, go to the project file, open the image one inside Photoshop. Of course, you can use your image, drag and drop your image inside our canvas. Now enable free transcendental control T and resize the image. Once you're done, next step, we're going to add our pre-designed stock image. Go to the project file again, open image to inside Photoshop. Drag and drop your image inside our canvas. Now enable free transcendental control T and Resize the image. Fine, once you're done, next step we're going to add our text content at the bottom here. For that, we're going to create a new layer. Go to color picker, pick any color you want. I'm going with white color. Pick the text tool, this one. The font I'm using is a free font, I'll give a link in the description, you can download it if you want. Now add your Valentine's Day special text content. Once your text content is ready, next step we're going to merge all our text layers into a single layer. For that, hold Ctrl key in your keyboard. Now select all the text layers you created. Like so. Now go to layers, there select merge layers, this one. There you go. Now all our text layers are converted to a single layer. Next step, we're going to add a glow effect, create a layer, change the blending mode to screen. Now go to color picker, select yellow color, this one. Now pick the brush tool. There I'm going to select the soft round brush, this one. Now I'm going to give you random clicks to create that attractive glow effect like so. There you go. Now our glow effect layer is ready. Before starting our animation process, we are going to convert all our layers into a smart object. Let's start with the first layer, select the layer, right click, convert it to smart object, repeat the same for rest of the layers. Next name the layers properly. I'll name it as 1, 2, 3. Once you're done, next step we're going to start our animation process. For that, go to Windows, select Timeline. Now click Create Video Timeline. This is where we're going to do our animation process. Our video is going to be 10 seconds video. Now zoom out. Now extend the frames to 10 seconds like so. You can use the play it in case you want to time the frames properly. Extend all the frames to 10 seconds. You can go with 15, 20, it's up to you. Fine, once you're done, next I'm going to adjust the second frame. I want the frame to start after 0.5 seconds so i'll adjust the frame such a way it starts after 0.5 seconds you can use the play head next i'm going to add a effect click this icon drag and drop the fade effect there you go next i want the third frame to start after something around two seconds adjust the frame again drag and drop the fade effect like so i'm going to repeat the same step for fourth and fifth frame adjust the frame i want the fourth frame to start around 3 seconds, now click and drop the fade effect, adjust the 5th frame, 
I'm going to adjust it in such a way it's going to start after 4.5 seconds. Drag and drop the fade effect. There you go. Now let's see the output. Click the play button. There you go. Now our video is almost ready. Next step, we're going to drop in our music track. Click this icon, add audio. Now select your audio file. Now place the playhead at the point where you want to crop the audio. Now click this scissor icon. There you go. We cropped our audio file. Delete the exist audio file. Now check the final output. Hit the play button. Next, it's time to render the file. Go to File, Export, select Render Video. There, add your video title. Select the folder. Select the format and click Render. Once the file is rendered, you can use it as Instagram Story or WhatsApp status, else Twitter Fleet. So that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials, subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, take care.